The Kinderteach presents The Caterpillar and the Pollywog, written by Jack Kent. A pollywog is just another name for a tadpole or a baby frog. Caterpillars aren't like other folks as ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older we get bigger especially hippopotamuses and there is a hippopotamus but not caterpillars and so caterpillars start off like this and then they spin a little cocoon and then later on the cocoon opens and out comes a butterfly. They turn into butterflies. I just told you that, didn't I? Turning into something else like that is not a thing just anybody can do. Down by the pond there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged, which means told everyone how great she was, about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. And that's what a snail looks like. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else. She told the pollywog, or the tadpole, or the baby frog. What fun, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. Actually, it's going to, isn't it? Oh, well, said the fish, all pollywogs do. What am I going to turn into? There it is. It starts out as a pollywog or a tadpole, and it starts to grow legs and longer legs and front legs, and pretty soon this part disappears. The pollywog asked, but the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed or moved fast after it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the pollywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the pollywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised, she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the pollywog told her. Fish know things. They go to school. Actually, a group of fish is called a school of fish. They don't really go to school. It's just what they call when a bunch of fish together is a school of fish. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? The pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, the pollywog said happily. What fun! Let's do it together! All right, the caterpillar agreed although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. The pollywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. And that is a cocoon. We saw a picture of it earlier, but that's when it's complete. It looks like that. 
and out will come a butterfly a little later. The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said, and when I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the pollywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. Now, we have to watch the tadpole or pollywog in the next couple pages because you'll see him to start to change, but he doesn't even know it. For a long time, nothing happened, but the pollywog was patient, which means he wasn't in a hurry. He watched and watched and watched, but while he's watching, look how he is changing. All of a sudden, he has back legs. For days and days and days. Oh, look at his back legs have gotten longer. He has front legs. Oh, he's looking so much more like a frog. At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly. A beautiful yellow butterfly. He looks really excited. The pollywog was so excited he hopped up and down with delight or happiness. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. So he just realizes he's no longer a pollywog or tadpole, he's a frog. He seems pretty happy about it. Notice means see. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try her new wings. And handsome just means nice looking. But the frog was puzzled, which means did not understand what was happening. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. Well, he looks a little bit sad. A caterpillar wiggled by, which means it kind of moved by curving its back up and down as it, as it moves along the tree branch. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. Look at the frog is looking at his reflection in the water. He seems to be pretty pleased by the way he looks, doesn't he? He was admiring or seeing how great he looked his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. So he really does like the way he looks.